Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Alexander Rehoff. And for Jessica Dean, we have live coverage as our team braves the heat we have on our way. We begin with meteorologist Kate Vilo outside on the CBS3 Sky Deck. Kate, it feels like triple digits out there. It feels like triple digits and then some, Alex. That's right. You step out here on the Sky Deck and immediately I get the sweat on the upper lip. It does not feel nice out here. And I only have to be out here for a few minutes. There are people, of course, that have to work out in this heat and it is dangerous. We are still under warnings across the region. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. We'll take you out to our heat alerts and this goes now through 8 o'clock tomorrow night. That's going to be the worst of the heat right through tomorrow. The pink is an excessive heat warning. That's for Philadelphia and almost all nearby suburbs. That does now include the Lehigh Valley. The shore points even not along the immediate coast, but most South Jersey communities under a heat advisory as is much of Delaware. And as you head up into the Poconos, also a heat advisory right through 8 o'clock tomorrow. The good news is it ends at 8 o'clock tomorrow. That means possibly some relief, at least a little bit of relief as we head into the 4th of July. But temperatures right now, we have officially hit the hottest day of our heat wave. Yesterday's high was 95. Saturday's high was 95. Today, now in the last hour, we've risen to 96. That means the heat is at its worst right now. It's 96 in Allentown, 96 in Trenton, 94 in Wilmington, and a hot 96 in Lancaster. And that, of course, is only half the story. Look at these heat index values. 107 is what it feels like in Reading right now. It feels like 103 in Philadelphia. I can attest to that. It feels like 103 degrees in Wilmington. So the shore is where everybody has gone. Look at the concentration of people there along the beach in Cape May. You could basically just hop from umbrella to umbrella down the beach today, probably from Atlantic City all the way down to Cape May. And it's not really going to improve much tonight. We will see temperatures by 8 o'clock drop below 90 and then still in the 80s for much of the overnight hours with some patchy fog developing. But again, we do have a little relief on the way. Small amount of relief for the 4th of July holiday. I'll have that forecast your fireworks outlook and I'll tell you when the heat wave finally breaks because there is an end in sight coming up for now back inside to you.